How's it going guys? This is Holly with Grindworks and today we are talking about the rules of knife safety. Handling knives safely does to a certain extent depend on the kind of knife you're using, but the basic rules apply to just about any kind of knife. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be using this Buck 385 Texas toothpick slip joint knife. So the first rule of knife safety is to keep a safe distance from others. Some people refer to this as the blood circle. Essentially, you wanna be aware of the people around you and ensure that no one is within arm's reach in any direction while you're using the knife. This way, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to accidentally injure someone. So safe opening and closing of a knife. Make sure that at all times you're holding the knife securely, either when you're opening, closing, using. Don't be hasty, there's no rush. Be aware of where all your digits are. And make sure you don't get any of them between the edge of the blade and the handle. Now, closing slip joint knives can be tricky. Some of them have a half stop. This one does not. It closes pretty smoothly. So you see I'm keeping my fingers out of the way there but you'll notice that as it gets closer and closer to the handle, there's a little bit of resistance, and then at a certain point, it really wants to close, and it just snaps shut. So, especially at that moment, you know, if your finger is sitting right there, and it snaps, there you go. You got a nice little cut for yourself. That's what we don't want to have happen. So make sure you're being really careful and taking your time if you've not handled a knife before. Now, for safe handling, safe usage, one of the most common uses for knives is opening boxes. So let's say you want to open, open this package. Never, ever cut towards yourself. So if I'm going to open this box, I'm going to slice in this direction. Never the other way towards my hand. Because if it catches on something, it slips. There you go, I've cut myself again. Let's say I want to cut through the tape this way. Again, cutting away from myself, not towards. So it's important to be aware of where your other hand is. So. Even if I'm cutting away from myself, if I've got my hand too close this way, that could cause an issue as well. Another rule of safe handling, don't use a slip joint knife to, to stab or pierce an object. Because it is not a locking knife, if I try to press this into a solid object, and especially if in order to get more force, I've got my fingers down here as I'm pressing, that blade is gonna fold closed on my fingers. So be sure the knife you're using for this kind of work is going to have a solid lock. Another rule, never pry. Never pry anything with your, with your blade. Like trying to pry open a can or something like that, get the lid off of a paint can. That's a good way to break or chip your blade. It's just not a good idea. So if you need to pry, get something that's designed specifically for that. And finally, don't walk around with an open blade. When you're finished using your knife, make sure you close it before you start walking around. Now I'm gonna demonstrate something that may seem like a contradiction to one of our rules. Remember how I said never cut towards yourself? There is one safe way to do that. And that is by using your thumb to help you moderate the amount of pressure that you're using as you move the blade. This technique is less of a pull. It's kinda of like when you're shooting a knife, you know, they say don't pull the trigger, squeeze and I find that it's the same when you're using a knife. I'm just kind of squeezing my thumb and that blade towards each other. So you definitely want to be careful when you're doing this, just like any other time you're using your knife, but this is a perfectly safe way to use your blade. Another good safety tip, make sure your knife is always sharp. Trying to use a dull blade is a good way to get injured. If your blade is dull, it's more likely to catch. You're more likely to be pressing or pulling harder, and then you may slip and end up cutting yourself. So now we're going to cover the last rule of knife safety, passing a knife safely to another person. So in the case of a folding knife, it's pretty simple. You just fold it and hand it over. Easy peasy. You definitely shouldn't hand a folding knife to someone while it's still open, but let's say just for pretend that this is a fixed blade knife and you want to hand it to someone. If you don't have it in a sheath, then the best thing to do is to grab the spine of the blade and hand it to them handle first. That way, nobody's getting an edge in their hand. So let's review the rules. Keep a safe distance from others. Open and close safely. Never cut towards yourself. Never use a knife to pry. 
and don't walk around with an open blade. And if you're gonna pass it to somebody else, pass it to them handle first. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and consider hitting that notification bell so that you're the first to know when a new video drops. If you're interested in the Buck 385, it is for sale on grindworks.com. Just hop on the site. Consider joining our email list. That's the best place to get knife news. If there are any rules that I forgot, because I'm not a knife pro, I'm somewhat of a beginner myself, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next time.